This is Brian Fritz of Network 126. So it goes, nobody said you should own nothing, dude. But everyone told you to downsize it so you can afford to keep some of your stuff. That's a big difference. But, I mean, I'm not arguing so much with that, but here's where it gets interesting. And 20 blue shirts? Damn, dude, I don't even have 20 shirts total. That's just a waste of money and space, dude. Snap out of it, man. Reply again in this video format. You're basically treating me doing what I simply gotta do to survive in my day-to-day -day life. I mean, I use those shirts for, shirts for work. More time I spend on this planet, the more I become increasingly convinced that this is some type of Twilight Zone dimension. Three shirts, and I'm working six days a week. I mean, I don't have the, the, the time or the energy or the money to be making all these damn laundromat trips. Anyway, I mean, so the fuck what? So I got a bunch of blue shirts. I'm wearing a black shirt because I ran out of clean blue shirts. I gotta go wash the blue shirts. Blue shirts way before this job came along. Yeah, so the fuck what? Yeah, so... So I like blue shirts, and so, so the fuck what? And, you know, I come from an upbringing of... In the garage. It was just a single car garage, but... It was a garage. We had a garage. We had a home. And... We had this, it basically looked like, like a pirate's treasure chest, but it wasn't full of gold. It, it, well, depending on the situation, it could be considered a chest full of gold, because it was full of canned food. Just nothing but canned food. Because <laughs> I, I can already hear this coming, I didn't even think of this until just now. I'm going to get slammed and criticized left and right for spending all that money on all that canned food. Well, I'm going to tell you something. A lot of it, I, I would say like, at least like 80-90% of it, the, the stuff I bought on my own was like the better stuff, like, like the like, like the ravioli and stuff in cans, and it was like some of that like was on food stamps, but anyway. Came from just donations, charities, that would they, they would just drop it off, like I would open the door of the RV, and there would be a, like, uh, just food right there. Really, as many would say, even the experts that were either on the verge of another recession or entering one, or just, you can watch all these news clips from around the world, not even just your own local news, <clears throat> and you, you know, just get a broader perspective of everything. And there's a lot of shit going on right now, guys. So I, I, did, I just thought I'd make that point about what the fuck. Too many blue shirts? <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, you, you all expect me to just have nothing, live on nothing, own nothing, and be happy. I don't own too many blue shirts. In fact, if I can find them on sale for like a dollar or two a piece, I'm going to snag up a few more if I can. You know, you got to place yourself in my shoes for like a few minutes. I guess maybe two minutes isn't enough because I keep <laughs> repeating all over the comments. Just place yourself in my shoes for two fucking minutes. Well, I guess that wasn't long enough, as I was saying. Maybe you need five minutes. Maybe you need ten minutes. Maybe you need 24 hours, 48 hours, a week, five, six months. <laughs> Slow ones in the back finally begin to understand what it's like living as I do. I'm just wrap this up now because I don't even know what's going on anymore. Leave your comments down below, rate, comment, subscribe. Please donate if you can. Thank you very much. And if you already have, again, thank you. And I will see you all next time.